everybody, and today we'll be playing Kerbal Space Program. So again, no long time, no post. This is like my fifth time. No, not even that. Like fiftieth time to try to go to the moon. This time we're doing Apollo style. So I have two diagrams of um the Apollo. The first one we're gonna use to build the first three stages, the main Saturn V launch vehicle. And the second one we're gonna be used to build the main actual payload, the actual Apollo. So we're gonna start with the main actual Apollo. We're gonna wanna go really high up. So it looks like we would have if you look at the landing pictures, it has free parachutes. And because I've learned the power of the move tool, I can just do that. And make it sort of like a nose cone. Uh, wait, where am I? You know what? The piece is okay. Let's just try this all <laughs> over again. Oh, this is gonna be a while. Okay, let's do it better this time. Add the struts. Add the parachutes. <laughs> Move parachutes inward. Add launch escape system that I know I'm not gonna use. But because it's gotta be my staging, all I'm gonna do is just boom. No fuel. Okay, now comes the tricky part. Building the fairing that encases the lunar module. I know that just sounded like a bunch of crazy stuff that non-space fanatics probably do not understand at all. So let me break it all down. What did I even say again? <laughs> it brought down two people to the surface. Which for an Apollo, that would look weird, but... Guess we gotta do it, because we're trying to be accurate. Now it went up with it. The lunar module! Believe it or not, was actually a two-stage thing. I have no idea what the engines on it were, so I'm just gonna slap on these. Add a little fuel tank. Now the fuel tanks don't look accurate, but that's all we got. Slap on the engines. I'm sure they're not, actually I think I've, we're just gonna try to poodle. <gasps> no, I actually don't. Yeah, I don't know what it got up with, so I'm just gonna attach these and just think, and tell myself that I get it right. So now I'm gonna do one of these, cause these don't have to be staged. And that's going to make my life a lot easier. Anyways, as soon as I'm done with this, I'll spare you guys the pain of watching me build this inch by inch. Now, I, I again, have no idea what it landed with, so I'm just going to slap on engines and hope. Go 
doesn't look like the Apollo lander. I don't care right now. The reason I'm using the docking up here is because it's really going to be nice to have things that don't have to be staged. Now I'm just going to attach like boop, boop. 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 Now I need that. The fair. I feel like this would be one of the points in the video where somebody would do like a 10 hours later thing and then the rocket would be complete. Doesn't look like the fairing again. Right now, I don't fully care. Now, I forgot the service module. Yep, I forgot the service module. Build fairing. Bam. May not look like the Apollo, but... <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna spare you the pain of me. Just building. So, bye. I mean, pause it. Almost done. Who would have thought building the Apollo will be impossible for me. <laughs> the biggest space fanatic in my school. <laughs> Slap on the mammoth. This is not gonna look like the Apollo. I'm just warning everybody now. It was meant to. It's not, though. But the real Apollo had five engines in the first stage. So I have to fix that. By attaching a small engine. This thing can be made into... And there we go. We have the Apollo built. I guess we should try to stage it from bottom to top. Okay, what belongs in the bottom? Oh. Okay, you do belong. You two belong in the bottom. Which fairing is this? Okay, so that's that fairing. It'll decouple the show that. Should be in an orbit by that time. So it should be in orbit by this time. Okay, we should be in orbit then. Which engine is this? So you belong in that stage. That little decoupler goes. Okay. That's the landers. I 
I staged it to the best of my ability. So I'm really counting on the first stage, because I let that in, and the other two stages do not have enough for us to wait. To actually, oh, whoa. It's my Apollo. We're doing this the MPO way. If I haven't told you guys what the MPO was, is, I mean, it's, um, the no parachute one. We're doing this the Kerbal way. Not the real way. The Kerbal way. Which means it's gonna end up looking, at least the first stage somewhat looks good. Oh, that's to be expected. When you have a long craft, you see, something like this is to be expected. I just know we're not getting to the mud with this. So that's why I'm in sort of accidentally stash intentionally. You're meant to do a yaw orbit instead of a pitch orbit to get to the mud, I think. Yep, the completely wrong orbit, but... Prepare for that stage deploy. Got a lot of random stuff going on in this stage, so let's hope it works. Oh, they're supposed to wait. Enough to keep us going up, so. Guess how, that's how it worked on the Apollo, so. I don't care if we don't make orbit, I just want to actually make it into space. So that I can mess around with the docking up there and stuff. Wow, look at those vectors. The engines vector. I doubt that they vectored on the Apollo. Guys, that crew of three, just like the Apollo. Okay, so we can all see how this is going, so I'm just gonna speed it up. Doing good on that orbit transaction, thingy the boobers. And we are in space. Clearly the Apollo had a big thing sticking out. I think that's Africa. Nope. This, I forgot, Kerbal World does not look like real world. I mean, I can partially make out Africa like there. But other than that, nope. Well, what's the boat I do? I also want to make orbit so that I can mess around with docking. Which is something I really haven't done before. Like, I've never done docking before. So even if this is like the worstly staged Apollo ever, Probably the worst they built too, but um engine nearly done. And 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 I said and boom. Okay. Main Apollo separation commencing. Commencing movement from Main Apollo to Lander. Actually, now that we're in this, it actually looks really cool to do this 
movement to the lander. Then we see that. Oh. I did not actually put that much work into building this. Okay, now that we have done that, undock. Undock. Lander's been separated. And I forgot the docking. We need another person to go. Eva. Extravehicular activity. Yes, I know what that word means. Okay. So we just gotta get back to here. Board it. Use our RCS to go into docking mode. Okay. Left. Right. I mean left. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. We've got this. Everything is just fine. Okay, 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 okay. Come on, dock. Oh, wait, we lost our docking mechanism. Uh, engage thruster? Oh, whoops, a daisy. Let's just um, turn ourselves around. Come on, we can get, we can get to the lander about completely. No, we can't. No, we can't. Try to break. Oh. Oh, no. Sass. Uh oh. No pilot aboard. Tracking station. Okay, it has to be the lander one. Okay, lander. Wait, where'd my... Oh, okay. There it is. It's your time to shine, Lander. Careful. Lander! Lander! Okay. Over there. Wait, that might not be it. Where is it? Okay, there it is. Come on, Lander. You got this. Lander! No! We're gonna miss him. Slow down! Leave the spacecraft. We must get... The lander is not built for... Returning to Earth. Well... If you ask me, 10 out of 10. I give this a 10 out of 10. Not an Apollo. <laughs>